Hello, 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 my sweet loves, my kings and queens. I hope that you're feeling beautiful. It is a new month. We made it into June, and June is our anniversary for this channel. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ubi, Ubi, Ubi ASMR, Ubi ASMR. And on June 16th, we make a year uh, together. So, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. We appreciate you and your support. And if you are returning, you know I love you guys tenfold. And um, today I'm just going to do a get ready with me video because today is my mother's birthday. So I'm going to be visiting her today, today, today. And um, I, I'm not going outside like this. <laughs> I look very tired. Um, So if you guys have any tips you want to give me, I'm not a makeup artist at all. But I know that you guys like this get ready with me videos Um, that I've done in the past. So I'm just going to do one and we're gonna rock and roll i have my coffee here with me i hope that if it's morning time for you and you're really getting ready with me you have your coffee or your tea or your water whatever it is but you know how to fill this cup it's filled all the way to the top i can i can i can i love me my coffee mm. it's so good mm. also I don't, um, I've been like drinking coffee black with no sugar. I never put sugar in my coffee, but I'm really enjoying black coffee. It's so great. So I have that here with me and you know, I have the candle, but I'm so proud of you guys. Like a lot of you have been commenting that you went and you got the candle. I'm so happy. I went and I tried to get the candle and I couldn't find it. So I was very sad. Um, they were sold out and I was like, oh. But I'm so happy that you guys were able to find it. So. I love the sound of the candle too. Like that's why I love the wood. Um, the candles that have that. Because it's just so beautiful. That sound of just like crackling. The crackling. So yesterday I was supposed to post a video for you guys. I was very sad. I said to myself, I said, oh, you know what? I'm so like, I'm tired. I need a cat nap. It was like 1030. And I said, all right, I'm going to sleep for 20 minutes. So I go and I lay down in my bed and I'm laying down in my bed and I wake up at two in the morning. It was 2.17 to be exact. I looked at the time because I was like, all right, it's time to make the ASMR video. I looked at the time i said 2 17 i go back to bed <laughs> so i apologize i did mean to post more videos yesterday night but it's okay it's all good because we are here today and i'm also going to be posting another video about setting intentions for the month of june so that's next but i wanted to do this one first so anyway this is um the makeup bag that i had i brought to my best friend's house i stayed over this weekend I have some of my goodies in here. I love this. My mom gave this to me. It's from, I don't know. No brand. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's gorgeous. And it fit almost everything that I needed. So, let's go right ahead. Um, and then I also have my big, big old box of uh, jewelry. What? My big old box that is so dirty, oh my god, I didn't realize, oh, of my makeup. You guys know that I have this and I love it. So, it's too heavy for me to like show you in the camera for too long. I know I'm strong, guys, but I'm not, I'm not trying to hold that like that. So, let's just get right into it. Okay, okay. is I just finished putting on this um glam glow uh it, it's a mask a face mask which I like about it I'm gonna get it really quickly so I can show you actually so just give me one second give me one second give me one second so glam glow is this brand from Hollywood California and I received it in my boxy charm I think last month 
and this is so beautiful i love it so much um it's berry glow it's a probiotic recovery mask and i love it because when you put it on your skin you don't have to you leave it on for 10 minutes and then whatever is left over on the skin you can actually rub it into your face so you don't have to like rinse it per se which i love um and i want to show you how it looks it smells so beautiful it literally looks and smells like yogurt so awesome like i love it so much um if you guys don't have boxy charm yet you really gotta get on the wave like it's so good but so i had that on my face so my face feels nice and you know smooth relaxed um my pores look a lot less um visible the only thing that i'm really trying to work on is these under eye dark circles um i have to look it up like what is that about you know I'm not really like skincare per se like great at it i'm trying to be better with age and you know i'm i'm really trying not to be like somebody that has like super acne and you know for the rest of my life and i mean i know this is gonna happen every once in a while but you know i just want to have like clear skin for the most part like i have the little circles you know it happens we all make mistakes we play with our face when we're not supposed to and blah 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 so I'm using this, the Pore Professional. And this is supposed to make sure that your pores don't show too much uh, through the makeup. So I took a dab, a dab, a dab, a dab, a dab, a dab, and I'm just gonna put it where my pores usually are, which is there. I don't even know why I put it on my chin. It was just like a force of habit, I guess. But yeah, just there and just put it on blah i love the way that it feels it's like a very smooth feeling mm. so just rub it in very nicely you gotta be kind to your face i don't want to be too, too rough with it you know and now i'm going to use this i really like this so this is from this brand called milani oh sorry i actually have to get a new one i'll probably get one today but it's a very cheap brand and it's it's good you know uh this is a lightening um concealer and i really like it because it takes instantly um that dark look away from the under eye so i just put a little bit you see it's like so hard to squeeze now and also my hands are really smooth i'm just gonna squeeze as much as i can put some there put some here put some on that dark spot right there right over here like look at that it's a usually i'm really bad at picking um colors because i either think that i'm too i'm lighter than what i am or i'm darker than what i am um and this one seems to be just about it so like i'm pretty happy about that you know that i picked the right thing especially because i try to make my trips to the stores minimal during this awkward time to be alive <laughs> so you know what it is it's not even that i don't like going to outside like i love going out and i think it's important for us to step outside and breathe in the fresh air but i just i don't know i just can't get with the masks like i don't like wearing them so i mean not to say that i don't respect obviously like you know protocols or whatever but like if I can avoid having to wear one, then I will. And so I try to stay, you know, outdoors in my area, like walking around, getting that fresh air and avoiding trips to the store because that's when you really have to wear it, right? So, yeah. What are your guys' thoughts? Did you guys buy like those masks? You know, I feel like stores were like, this is a perfect opportunity to start actually like brands like, you know, um, like small businesses that have been making like the creative cute mask and stuff you know i just don't like the mask so i'm not buying that but if you guys are like into buying the you know support the small businesses of course now i'm just going in and i'm putting some contour um this is wet and wild which is one of my favorite brands because it's cheap it's affordable excuse me um i gotta get out of the habit of using that word i don't really like it um so it's an affordable brand and it's cruelty free and i love that i think it's great and it's vegan like okay cool you know 
they're just really not using animal product, which is great. Um, not to say that I'm a vegan, but I don't, I don't agree with animal cruelty for makeup, especially like, come on guys, use it on your own kind, people. Um, sorry if you guys hear any noise in outside. I think it's garbage day, so you're probably hearing my landlord or his mom getting the garbage. So with that being done, I'm also going to put some of this and i don't know if you guys realize but because that um concealer was so much my color i'm not really gonna do any foundation because i feel like i was able to blend it in with my face so it looked okay i'm not really somebody who puts too much makeup on um in general i try not to look like a different person with makeup and you know for those who are skilled in doing so Wow, like I commend you. I think it's awesome. Um, it's a form of art. It's a form of expression. And please continue to express yourself because you look gorgeous in the process. My God, you look gorgeous with or without makeup. But man, I just am always so impressed by um, makeup artists and things like that. It's gorgeous. God, you guys are able to do what you do in transformations. I, I always love a good girl. So yeah, you can see like the contour, I guess, you know, highlighting certain areas like this and this and this. Um, and um, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but like even those pimples that were right here, like of course you can see that they didn't ex still exist, but um, it's definitely not as in your face as, you know, when you first wake up, which whatever, like we are human. We are imperfect and it's beautiful. I'm just putting a little bit of this Born This Way, which is also another concealer. And I like to use this on my um, acne because I think that it really helps to just cover it up, you know. I'm also going to try, um, and this is warm beige for anybody who thinks we are similar in color. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite ever, ever, ever thing that I use. Um, Too Faced um, brand. It's pretty expensive, but it lasts you for like a really long time. I want to say like half a year. And I use it like every single day. So I'm at the ends of it now. And I really need to buy a new one, but I don't know where to find it. I guess I can find it on Amazon. I don't know. If y'all buy it, Too Faced, let me know where I can find it. Under, under my eyebrows to create some type of a lifting look. I also need to, um, I definitely need to get a new brush. This is from e.l.f. So I love spending money on brands that are affordable. And I also love, you know, every once in a while treating myself. So I'll go to an Ulta and I'll buy something that is, you know, a little bit over the price range that I'd like to spend. But it's good quality, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I, you know, I think that it's okay to, to have a combination of products that are like, one, affordable and two, you know, a two-faced type of thing. So I like to try to... I like to be um, mindful of my spending and when to spend and when to, you know, not. Especially now, you know, you guys want to make sure you're saving. And we'll talk more about that in our June manifestation video, which I'm excited to make. I'll be doing it soon. Um, and now, I'm going to use... Oh! oh my god. What the... <laughs> no! My bronzer is broke, the broke, broke, broke. Like, it really broke a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're not gonna use that. No, moment of silence for my bronzer break. I can't even, I can't believe that. You know what it is? It's like sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, 
I usually sit on my bed and I look in a mirror that's really far away from me. It's on my windowsill. So I'm sitting over there and I'm looking through the windowsill because I feel like it's right under the like sun and that the lighting from outside. So it's giving me that natural look um, where I can really see myself as opposed to doing it in, in dark light lighting. Um, anyway, I be taking my products and then when I'm done using it, throwing it into my... Um, my beauty you know box and i really did that with a powder like you know i just can't my bronzer is, is done for anyway that's my fault i'm still probably gonna use it but just not for this video for the sake of like not making a mess so yeah so i hope you can forgive me i love to go the wet and wild again you know this is my product i love it um this is wet and wild Me mega glow i always read that funny mega glow like what are you doing girl um highlighting powder so this is awesome this is my second one that i've gotten the second palette and i think i've used it more than the last one like i didn't even really need to buy this one yet but i just was like let me go now i'm gonna use this little um mini lip lipstick that i got i got from um i think sephora like you know when it's his birthday and they give you um like a gift so this came with i think like a lip gloss a mini lip gloss but i love it it's so cute and small and it's called it's from i guess the brand bite i never heard of it until this and it's in the color chai so this is bite beauty small it's so cute okay so i'm just gonna put a little bit sorry girl i'm not looking at you i'm looking at you and myself so that i can at least have you know do it correctly you already know like i don't want to look like you but this is like deal you guys would judge me because you're dressed but you know what I'm saying okay so what what am I missing oh my eyebrows oh my god so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows you guys already know that my eyebrows my eyebrow game is not strong <laughs> um which is fine I've come to terms but um I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I got this brush this beautiful green brush from BoxyCharm again. Most of the things that I have are from BoxyCharm and or Walgreens, my favorite store. <laughs> Not for me. Um, they should like hire me, guys. I think you know, send me some products, send me some candles. <laughs> Yo, I really brought them business, right? Honestly, Walgreens, if you're watching, help me out. So I just go with this brown and sometimes I use the black like in the, this part of my eyebrows. I'll probably do it today. But yeah, I just kind of shape them a little bit more, especially the ends um, because I feel like they are definitely lacking in the shape department. I really don't go crazy for the eyebrows though. I'm um not very good at filling them in i just try to you know make them look like they have some sort of a shape and um again i don't really go crazy like i like the fronts to look less full like that um because i like the fact that they do have that upward um you know naturally they they go upward in the fronts um so I just leave them be like that. I just let them rock. Rock and roll however they feel. You know? Try to let them be free. Let them be free. And as wild as they possibly can. Because I they wild. And I, I do. Um, I blame it on the fact that when I was younger. For whatever reason. I thought I was stylish. By having those line eyebrows. And like nothing else so just a little tiny line and i would always get them waxed 
and waxing is like to me the enemy of all eyebrows um you know what i mean it's like not really a good look if you're trying to ever go out your eyebrows it makes it really hard to do so because when you get your you know when you get that area of your your brow to get accustomed to being waxed then eventually they're just not going to grow the same and um that's exactly what happened to me so you know yeah that's it's hard to grow them back um which is fine okay and sometimes i just go like this to like take away that line look that it looks so obvious and then i fix it but um that's pretty much all i do unless i do feel like um adding um eyeliner which took me let's do that oh my blush i hope this video is relaxing to you i don't know where my brushes are um in the next video that i do today i will be talking way more and more focused on me but again, I just wanted to come and do my makeup on you guys because I know that in the past I've done so and you guys have enjoyed them. So I gotta do another one where I'm doing your makeup actually. Um, I like I like to have like, you know, blush on my cheeks. I really like to make it look like um I'm just like smitten by you. Oh my god, my nose is running. under your eyes it leaves like less room for creasing under the eye so this is a coconut setting powder and i love i love it i also love um the smell of coconut and the taste on food i think it tastes really good it's a nice addition to food so i'm just gonna put I told you guys I'm no way good at this. Um, I just enjoy putting on makeup, and however it comes out, I, I really just kind of roll with it. Um, I remember one time I went out with Kimmy, and um, she was dying laughing. I'm like, "What's so funny?" And she's like, "Girl, um, I don't know what you did, but you're like two different colors." And I go, "Where?" And she's like, "Like right here. You're like a different color." And I'm like. I had forgotten that I had put those lines and I didn't blend them in. So she was seeing that line. So I was so embarrassed. You know, not really that embarrassed, but I was like wondering, we were at brunch or something. So I'm like, how many people, especially like the makeup girls in this brunch, saw me and went, oh hell no, she forgot to freaking fix herself. Like, so I just immediately went like, you know, and I was like, what about now? And she's like, it's fine. But yeah, I'll be telling y'all like so many things, it's hilarious. Um, I think that right now I'm gonna leave it as is. Oh, one of the things that I haven't been doing lately is putting on um, mascara. Um, but I kind of want to, if I can find one. Sorry for the angles. I found one. I don't know what this is called. Oh, Big Ego. I got from BoxyCharm and I don't really use it frequently but it's okay we're just gonna put some of it on and I'm 
probably going to put fake lashes on or later. Um, maybe for the next video, I'll put it on beforehand. This has been the get ready with me and i love you guys so much we've been together for like almost a year this is crazy like this is a long relationship um <laughs> i feel very committed no i do i love you guys you know this and i will be back this was um anyway i'll be back in a few with my video about June, we are setting intentions and getting it popping for the month of June. This is Gemini season. Wear my Gemini's hat. And yes, um, I love you guys. I'll see you in a bit.